Miami. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know. Passes into tight coverage, and it's going the other way. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Mike 41, you've got to wedge that, huh? Right, huh? Makes the grab and steps out right away. Well, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. Gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was a five-play, 30-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hurricanes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. The running back gets two on the carry. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. He laterals, and now the ball is loose. And no one can get it, it bounces out of bounds. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at about the 41. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Nice run there. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the 46-yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. 
He's tackling at the 48. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second down at 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Throws in the middle. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 17. Miami is up a score. He throws. Almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. The Hurricanes really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. What an incredible display of absolute speed. I'll tell you what, if you give this guy an inch of daylight, he's going to take it to the house before you can even blink. Will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Wake Forest lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he 
he's tackled at the 37. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. the stop at the 19. From the 19 yard line, it's first down. Grabs it and he might go the distance. Touchdown, Kane. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice eight play, 74 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 14-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 21. He's out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 14-7, Miami. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. Run down at the 42-yard line. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Short over the middle. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Miami is up seven. Here we go. Caught with room to work, and he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. From the 25 yard line. First down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Second and goal. 
It's second and goal. Four yards out. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Got the corner. Nice run to the outside. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it third and goal. Check, 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 check. Mike 41. Got to wedge that, huh? Green 88. Touchdown, Miami. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And now he's got room to run. The 50. And he's taken down at the 43. Speed will get you noticed, but I guarantee you, it takes more than speed to succeed at this level or the next one. Gets to about the 31 yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Here we go, here we go. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Right here, Touchdown, Wake Forest! And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Miami is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They run it left. Tackle made right around the 34. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it 31. it out to about the 37 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball on the 37 yard line gets to about the 37 yard line Miami's going to take their first time out of the half And here's another third down. Set. 
and he's hit immediately. Miami up seven points. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We're at play number nine of this Here current drive. That's a great tackle at the 42. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. on this quarterback Kirk he has done his job unfortunately there's 22 guys on a team and one guy's doing a great job the other 21 aren't so much yeah it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned right now you're right the quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball but uh, the, the running backs the wide receivers the offensive line the entire group they've got to do a better job right now when you look at that scoreboard they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down now they still have time to get back in the game and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset quarterback stats are one thing winning the game is what's more important defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation we've had a shootout through two quarters here with nothing but offense 21-14 Hurricanes.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Miami is up seven. Let's it fly. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, the field is reversed. reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Ready! 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Scrambling around. Loose football. Looks like the offense has it. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Miami is up by a touchdown. That makes it second and six. Stay with your man. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Ready. Bring it. Tackle at the 23-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 23. Looks to his receiver, first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. out to about the eight yard line. That brings up second and goal. They're at the eight. Second down. Shows some moves and he's in. Design play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Number three on the tackle at the 35 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Here we go, here we go. Check, 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 check. He's taken down around the 44 yard line. Number three on the tackle at the 44 yard line. That brings up second and one. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, False start. Offense. offense. 
Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Check two. He goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The Hurricanes have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of them. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Throws a strike over the middle. They gained five yards there. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Three down, three down. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Set. Green, Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Loss of six yards on the play. Fourth down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Taken down right around the 44-yard line. Quick pass. Brought down at the 47. So at the end of three, the Hurricanes in front, 28-14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Here we go, here we go. Check 59, Mike, Mike is 59, Mike to 59. Black five, black <laughs> Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he's tackled at the 46, and that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. He scrambled. 
and he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44. Fires out to his wide out, and he tackles him hard at the 49. That makes it 37. Three down, three down. 46 is right there. Check in, check in. Mike 41. Ready. Check, check. check. Spire. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 50. That'll make it fourth and six. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it, and when maybe to just punt the ball and change the field position. That makes it second and six. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes at about the 33 yard line. Makes the tackle at the 33 yard line. Black First five, down. black five, X seven, zero. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Red two. Red. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Less than three minutes in the game. And he just gets rid of it. So they're going to go for it here. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down. Four. Six. Seven. Check 59. Mike. Mike. Go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And it's picked off. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air, and they come away with a dagger of an interception. Just under two minutes in the game. 
gets out to around the 28. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Demon Deacons on this use their second timeout. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. He takes it right side for a good game. Wake Forest out of timeout. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 43-yard line. First down. And they'll get him in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Two tights, two tights. Fights forward to about the 43. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it 39. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one 28 14, Miami. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.